Good evening, everyone. Happy Saturday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2019 Bowman Baseball. Eight box jumbo. Pick your team number seven. A very big thank you. There's the case right there. There's the baseball I stole from the... I mean, that I bought. Thanks to all these folks for getting into it on a Saturday. 420. Pick your team seven. Got a good crew here. EA getting the San Francisco Baseball Giants in a spot random. And Ryan L. with the St. Louis Cardinals. Nice. So good luck to those guys. Good luck to everybody. So here's the jumbo case right there. Where's my, oh, there's my knife's in my pocket. There's a little Topps promo poster here. All right, Trevor, what's going on? You're shopping at Bucky's for tea on the way home? All right, he's listening. Well, be sure to drive safe. No. Let's re reduce the texting and driving. Hour drive? Well, this, this is an hour break, a little over an hour, so you might be home before this break's even done. All right, good luck, everybody. This is Jumbo Edition, of course, so you get three autographs per box. Good luck, boys and girls. We've been pulling some nice stuff out of this, so hopefully that trend continues with this case. Got a couple more cases of hobby and of jumbo. I guess we'll post those at some point next week. We'll do, I'm sure, we'll keep chipping away at those. A Bowman case a day keeps the doctor away, ladies and gentlemen. All right, good luck, everybody. There's a lot of these on new release night, so thanks very much, everyone. We've worked through a lot of our stock. We have some more left, so keep an eye out for that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Oh, if you're uh, if you're watching live, you're stuck with me. You got to watch this live. But if you're if if you're on YouTube, this you're watching this replay, and you're like, dang, I don't want to wait. I don't want to fast forward through this. I don't wait. I don't want to wait an hour and 15 minutes or whatever. How long? However long this break takes. Um, there'll be a recap video at the end. Or for those of you watching live who are just like, man, do I have to wait and, and have to watch this? I've got to go do stuff. Do I have to watch an hour-long break? No, you don't. You can go do your thing. You can come back. You can watch the uh, you can watch the recap video. We'll recap the serial-numbered cards as well as the autographs. All right, so we'll breeze through this paper. And there's our first autograph. Edward Cabrera for the fish. Darren McKenzie with the Marlins. We've got the Astros Rangers game, Rangers Radio on the background there if you're wondering what we're listening to. Rangers are up seven to two on the Astros. I've got a little financial interest in the in the Strohs. Right, or or MH. You can just get an adult beverage if you're of age. You know, and kick back and relax with us. And settle in with this break. I'm sure usually we always get into some interesting conversation at some point during long breaks like this. Out of 150, it's that's zero on the centering for the <laughs> for the serial number. That's Tirso Ornelius. I'll sleeve that right now, but we will uh, our shipping team will top load these and before they get sorted and shipped, obviously keep those protected.
Whoa. Oh, I thought they were going to let me ride the mower in the at the stadium. There's a Speckle, Jojo Romero. Mojo, Jojo, out of 299. And there's our second autograph, Ronaldo Hernandez, 147 out of 250. Purple Chrome autograph for the Rays, Chris Garossi with the Rays. So that's auto three, or auto two of three. We got Keegan Thompson paper, four ninety nine for the Cubs. That's for EA and the Cubbies. That JoJo Romero speckle went to um, Scott Yokin in the Phillies. What else do we have here? And then we got for the Padre. We had that Padres one too. That'll be for Chad Stork as the Friars. There's Joey Bart right here. That's the that's the big autograph we're looking for. So that insert will ship, of course. Sometimes those can be autographed too. We got out of 125, Sandro Fabian for the Giants. Goes to EA, who got the Giants in a spot random. <laughs> I marked myself with a Sharpie earlier today. That dot's going to be there forever. That's the Rangers talent pipeline right there. We're listening to the Rangers radio right now. And we've got Darian Cruz, Speckle, 229 to 299 for the Braves. Thomas Bove with the Bravos. I thought my top blur was right there. That's where the bell is. Sure, that's a bell. I'll give it a bell. So that's our third autograph of the box right there. Delano DeShields Jr. with a stand-up triple. 9-2 Rangers. And we've got a gold cold Ian Anderson. <laughs> Not Colby Allard. Come on. Everyone knows who Colby... What, Ian Anderson looks like. That gold will go to Thomas Bove as well. Sometimes those can be autographed as well. So those are our three autos. And next box. Wait, so Barry White is Thomas, right? Thomas Bove? Change the YouTube name just to, just to confuse all of us. Right. 
Um, some scores. The White Sox, Tigers, they didn't play today. That game was postponed. The Boston Red Sox edged out the Rays six to five. I was on, I had financial interest in the Marlins. They beat the they beat Max Scherzer in the Nationals nine to three. The Tribe beat the Braves eight to four. I was I had financial interest in the Oakland Athletics, but they got crushed. Toronto beat them in Oakland ten to one. They called the game in Pittsburgh due to inclement weather, but it's a final. 3-1 to one, Pirates. Pirates win over the Giants. I was on the Pirates. I wonder if I wonder if they'll give me that win or if they'll just call it a push. 3-1. Uh, to one. The Twins edged out the Baltimore Orioles 6-5 to five. in an early game today. The Diamondbacks. I was on the Diamondbacks. They shut out the Cubs 6 to nothing. Cardinals defeated the Mets 10-2. to They took care of them pretty easily. And so did the Yankees. Yankees took care of the, the Royals 9-2. There's some double headers today, too. We'll get to those in the next box. Score update in the next box here on a Saturday, April 20th. There's Daz Cameron to 150, Atomic, Bowman Scouts, Atomic. And then Alec Baum, nice. Scott with the Phillies, with old Alec. One of the big prospects for the Phillies. And third overall pick last year in 2018. Nice, right, so that's autograph one of the box. I like uh, I so I have MLB TV, which gives you the radio stuff too, all the radio broadcasts as well, which I love. Um, I like the the TV broadcast. They don't show you the local commercials. They don't even show commercials. So if you're watching MLB TV, you won't show you the TV commercials, but you do get the radio commercials. It's cool to listen to local radio commercials. All right, Kyle Wright for you, Thomas Bove, eighty-one out of four ninety-nine. Autograph. Nice. The fifth overall pick in 2017. Yeah, that's why the Braves really didn't go for that starting pitching everyone thought they would in the offseason. So. But maybe guys like Colby Allard, Ian Anderson, and Kyle Wright are the reasons why. Tuki Toussaint as well. Actually, Tuki Toussaint should be making a start pretty soon. I think he on my fantasy team. There's William Contreras, that's Wilson's brother, 67 out of 150. They both have two L's in their names. That'll also go to the Braves. Chris Hale saying Boone got ejected for arguing a Torres home run. Called back. Packbuster says Tuki got roughed up. Dang it. Went like one in a third inning. Did he have like eight strikeouts and eight walks? <laughs> Which is a a hallmark of Tuki's early the hallmark of Tuki's young career. Eight strikeouts, eight walks and one in a third. Eight earned runs. There's Sean Murphy to 150, 53 out of 150. 
That'll be for the A's. Nick Sanderson with that one. Should be expecting one more autograph, right? We only have two. Oh, he, he hit like three guys? I guess it's first start of the major league major league season, so of this season, so maybe he was a little fired up. Hey, thanks, Ryan, for stopping by, man. Enjoy the rest of your night. He looked cold out there in Cleveland. He was just like, F this. Hit some batters, get run early. <laughs> Take a warm shower in the locker room. And our third auto is Tommy Romero. 119 out of 499. Refractor autograph for Chris Garosi and the Rays. So that's our third autograph of the box. Let's look for some, maybe some low numbered parallels before we move on to the next. There he, there's he, there, there he was right there. I thought I saw him. Never mind. <laughs> Lost him. There's Nolan Gorman for the Cardinals to 499. Blarg, what's going on? I'm down, big boys 007. There was some chatter about that earlier today, but nobody got inspired to buy a spot. I was hoping that that chatter would inspire some people, but but nothing. But we got time to do it tonight. We don't have too much on the website. We've got a lot of stuff we can break, but we're running out of stuff tonight, which is good. That means we had a good week. So thank you, everybody. We're off tomorrow, folks. Easter. We'll be back on Monday, probably with the store reloaded and ready to go. Games in progress. Well, there's one final that just finaled up. Brewer shut out my uh, my Dodgers five to nothing. Yelich with two more dingers. Wow, he's got 13 now. It's league leading. Bottom of the fifth. Cleveland is up seven one on the. Braves, top of the seventh. Twins are up 13 to 4 on the Orioles. Still early in LA or in uh, Anaheim. Seattle's up 2 nothing on the Angels. Bottom of the fourth, 2 1. Reds lead the Padres, top of the sixth. Phillies with a narrow lead over the Rockies, 4 to 3. And the Rangers. Are leading nine to two in Texas. Top of the sixth. Blarg saying, I haven't kept up with sports cards for a while. What are a few of the really hot cards these days? That's kind of a it's kind of a loaded question. <laughs> Just because there's so many different answers for that. Well, for this particular set, uh, for this particular set, this would be the Tampa Bay Rays with Wander Franco, San Diego Padres with Fernando Tatis Jr. would be some of the big ones in this particular set, among others. Joey Bart for the Giants. Will those four box randoms break tonight if those fill? Ask Pack Buster. Yes. 
Yeah, well, I, I break until 11 o'clock Pacific, so those would have to fill um, well, sooner rather than later. I actually might leave a little early tonight It's for Easter weekend, but yeah, I mean, sooner the better. If, those, if it fills, I'll break it. We'll figure out a, figure out a time frame for that. Yeah, one's actually pretty close, so. Out of 499, Darian Cruz, another one for Thomas Bove. First auto out there. Yes, Rex, that is correct. We don't have any more cases of flawless to do that random player break. I don't think that was going to fill tonight anyway, but um, we're going to get those delivered. We originally thought they were delivered yesterday. But turns out they're supposed to be delivered today, and then they were delayed, is what UPS told us. So now we have to wait till next week. So we don't even have a case for break 10. There's Bruce Star Greater All to 499, but we do have cases for breaks 8 and 9, which I think are selling out as we speak. Greater All goes to the Twins. That'll be for Blair. Vlad Guerrero Jr. is another big name in the hobby. Vlarg. There's uh, Matt Chapman, paper, gold paper to 50, and Ryan Weathers, purple paper to 250. Yeah, a lot of box breaks becoming a, a a bigger thing. Unboxing, like sports cards and stuff. We've been doing this for about four and a half years or so. Almost five, I think. In a we're coming up on five year anniversary pretty soon. Yeah, the Jaspies big hit garden Rex is taking a bit of a beating. A lot of people grabbing cases. Danny Jansen has got to work on that autograph a little bit, or maybe press a little harder on the pen. Danny, don't don't be nervous. That goes to Joseph Perulo and the Blue Jays. There you go. In case you're keeping track at home, that's Jersey Joe P, not Arizona Joe P. A couple, we've got a couple Joe P's. We got Shane Boz at a 299 speckle for the Rays. He was one of the guys in that Chris Archer trade, I believe. Should be expecting one more autograph out of here. You wish Panini, Thompson Panini had stock? Rex, you would buy stock in those companies? I don't know if those companies would ever go public. I feel like they wouldn't. I wouldn't. Tyler, what's going on? Nice. Yes. Congrats. You're welcome.
Oh, and there's there's Nate Lowe. Not to be confused with Brandon Lowe. There you go. So that's our third auto right there. Blargs is asking, uh, have you had any issues with bad cardstock, warped cards, or foil peeling off the cards? No. But sometimes you get, like, if we open older products, sometimes you'll get, like, a slight bending of the cards just from age. Otherwise, pretty solid. How many spots in the half case breaks? I'm not sure. You tell me, Tank. Check the website for me. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com. Scroll down a little bit. Look at the spots left number. And tell me how many are left. I think we're close to filling them, though. All right, so those are our three autographs from that box. Next box. Rex, you'd buy stock if they had it? I don't know if I would. I feel like the stock wouldn't really do anything. I feel like it would hit a certain market price and then it would go up a few bucks sometimes and it would go down a few bucks sometimes, but it wouldn't do anything dramatic. Oh, 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 are there any combo teams? That I don't know off the top of my head. I don't think so, but you can go to jaspiescasebreaks.com and check. All the details should be in the item description. Or you can wait another 45 minutes and then I'll tell you. I don't think there is, though. Maybe there is, I don't know. I haven't really looked. Tyler saying case seven of flawless wisdom. Man, uh, we did so much flawless. You guys, you guys sold out so much flawless last night. They all kind of blur together to me. But I, I do know. I, I, I took a like a took like maybe 15, 20 photos of some of the big hits that we pulled last night. Come on, packaging. I don't got time for that. There we go. All right. Next box. Good luck, everyone. No Dodgers or Rockies yet, Greg. Not at the moment. That's right, yeah. Panini is actually an Italian company. They they were pretty big in the soccer market doing the soccer sticker books. So while we grew up with, like Americans, we grew up with like baseball cards. A lot of the kids in like Europe and South America grew up with Panini sticker books. So that that's what a lot of kids remember from their childhoods. Buying the buying the books and getting the stickers and pasting the names of soccer players into that sticker book. There's Chad Spangenberger, Blue Jays. That goes to Joseph Perlo. No, no Red Sox at the moment either. Not yet. Still tons of autos to go, though. One thing that always disappoints me about Panini is that at any of the uh, at any any of the events that they do, and they have great events, but I don't think they've ever served paninis at any of their their wonderful events. So panini, it's kind of obvious.
Okay, so you check. There are two combo spots. You guys do discounts for first time breaks. No, we do not. Because you know what happens? They get they take our discounts from us. Then they don't hit. Then they say, I don't hit at Jaspies. And then they leave and they never break with us again. They hit it and quit it. And lift, we're left with tears. So no, we don't do first time discounts and stuff. But for people who end up breaking a lot with us, we always do promos, break credit giveaways and all that sort of stuff. So the longer you hang with us, the more more fun breaks and rewards you can get out of it. 20 out of uh, 60, Brewer Hicken. Gold Shimmer for the Royals. That's going to go to Michael Necht with KC. All right, Greg, I'll see you. Greg, just have the kids watch this break. They'll, they'll fall asleep in a heartbeat. Unless there's like a train whistle, then they'll then they get woken up. Okay, that's dangerous. There's Genesis Carrera to four ninety nine. Jose Ramirez to four ninety nine, and there's Jordan Alvarez to three to one twenty five. That is not three one twenty five. The prospects for the Red Sox, I'm not too sure. Off the top of my head, how much were the Red Sox? I'll probably can take a guess by how much they cost, if they're like big name prospects or not. Um, does anyone know off the top of their head? The, the big uh, Red Sox prospects. Our Red Sox farm system is a little on the weaker side. But they must have a couple couple names here and there. Where's my checklist? Um, looks like there's no prospects for the Red Sox. They do have a Roger Clemens buyback autograph that you can chase. And then Tristan Casas was their number, was their uh, first round pick from last year. But he has, he has an Under Armour autograph, which I think is, uh, which I think that's your big chase right there. But I don't know how those Under Armour autographs are a little more short printed. So they're not too common. I think Casas was in a lot of the Bowman draft breaks that we did. There's Matthew Libertor to 250, Purple Chrome. So if you look at that checklist, Andrew, I think the group break checklist highlights the prospect autos in green. So Red Sox don't have any, I'm afraid, but they do have a couple of autos that you can chase in there. Hey, 30 bones. If you get Roger Clemens' 1989 Bowman buyback autograph, we'll cover that spot pretty quickly. And that'll be a really nice hit too. Nice Nolan Gorman. Forty-eight out of fifty. Bowman top one hundred autograph. Nolan Gorman. Ryan Laroya. There you go. With a big hit right there. He visited the store earlier today. Said hello. And last ball mojo. That's our third autograph of the box. Right, yeah, Tristan Houses was in Finest as well. All right, folks, we are officially halfway through the break. Four boxes to go. Good luck.
No worries, Andrew. Good luck. All right, so apparently this this is kind of incredible. There's uh, I wonder when this is going to happen. Ever does everyone know about the freeze in Atlanta at SunTrust? Some of you who are, who live in that area may know. Um, so at the ballpark. They've got this guy named The Freeze, who is like a former sprinter or something. And so they sprint around the warning track from, from end to end, right? So like fans can race against this guy. But they'll get like a head start, you know? So he'll the, the, the professional sprinter, wherever he is, you know, former sprinter, will wait. And once they're around center field, then, then, the, then the sprinter goes. And usually he catches up to them pretty quickly. There's some great videos there of, uh, p of people racing the freeze. There's one, there's one legendary video of some kid who's running and might actually have a chance to beat the freeze, right? So he's running, then he starts like, then he starts being like, yeah, I got this, right? When he sees the finish line right there, but the freeze has caught up to him at that point. They would have been neck and neck if he would have kept running. So he turns his head and freaks out, and then he stumbles and falls over. Hubris. But I bring this up because uh, both Terrence Speedsters, Terrence Gore, and Billy Hamilton, I think even Whit Merrifield, are willing to race the freeze in Atlanta. I want to see this. I want to see this happen. Make it happen. That that's gonna that's gonna make for some great, some great uh, TV. You know, I don't know much about Tristan House's Jeffrey Iverson, but I do have this handy dandy 2019 Baseball America Prospect Handbook. This is something every serious baseball fan needs to have, and serious collector. Boston Red Sox. Tristan Casas is number five in the organization. Let's just scroll down to the future right here. Casas has upside on par with any other Red Sox prospect, and if he performs at low Class A Greenville in 2019, he could vault to the top of the list. Fifth overall, first baseman, third baseman. Two things that they could use. There he is right here. There you go. Instant analysis, Jeff Riveson. Delivered by Jaspies to you. Hashtag knowledge. So I don't know much about him off the top of my head, but now I do. First and third, they need they could use they could use that. Speaking of the Red Sox, they're in trouble, right? Is it is it panic time for the Red Sox? I heard something on uh, the Baseball Tonight podcast with Buster Olney. Uh, him and he had Carl Ravitch on for a little bit. And they were talking. There's Gabriel Cancel to four ninety nine for the Royals. It's another one for Michael Neck. They were talking about is it possible? That, and I think someone was it David Price. Someone mentioned it. He's like, if we if we're not playing well, he was like, a bunch of us are going to get traded. And he even threw in Mookie Betts' his name. Could they trade Mookie Betts? Red Sox farm system is kind of depleted. Remember, they sent a bunch of guys to. They sent a bunch of guys away for the Kimbrel deal. They sent a bunch of guys away to get Kimbrel to the to. The Astro or to the Padres, that is. Here's the Padres right here. They gave up. They they give. They've been given up pro big prospects left and right. I think Yohan Mankata went to the White Sox. That was in the Chris Sale deal, and they paid Chris Sale. So that's looking worse. Ooh, I feel the cool, cool metal of a printing plate right here against my hands. That's a train whistle. Is it autographed? We're gonna find out. I was like, that feels different. It's not autographed, but it's Domingo Acevedo for the Yankees. Luke Smith with the Yankees. 
There you go, Luke. All aboard the Big Hit Express. Woo woo! Nice. Nothing but Jays, Royals, and Blue Jays? Well, there's some Cardinals, too. <laughs> and Braves. Forgot about Braves. Phillies. Marlins. Well, we still have like 12 autos to go, so plenty of time to balance out the case. But could they conceivably trade Mookie Betts? I don't know what his contract situation is. They paid Chris Sale, which was seems like a mistake now. I think they extended Xander Bogarts. And now some Reds, Lion Richardson, Thomas Bove. <laughs> there are some kids who are screaming there. They got excited about God Bless America. I kind of like the the crowd singing the the song. I, I don't. I kind of don't like the. Uh, I don't know how you how do you guys feel about this national anthem, God bless America at stadiums, right? I kind of don't like the person singing it, right? I want the crowd to sing it. That that that's, that that sound that feel that sounds more cool. I think when you hear like forty fifty thousand people singing along. I want more of that. Kevin Smith, Speckle. It's all just paper, not really getting a focus here. Should be one more autograph out of this box. There's Genesis Cabrera to 499. Rich, that that question was was asked and debated earlier today as well. A lot of people talking about Bowman. Nobody buying Bowman random teams, though. White Sox, Steel Walker. David Duffy with the White Sox. But I'd be down to do it. Three autos a box and a four-box break. I'd be down. Casey Mize, Gold Shimmer to 50. All right, three boxes go. Nine autographs to go, ladies and gentlemen. Still plenty. Good luck. These are jumbo, so that's what makes it nice. Fewer packs, three autos. 
Gavin, Leaf Pearl is technically a hockey product, but it has one cut auto per box, which is not only multi-sport, but, but could be like old presidents and old celebrities and stuff like that, cut autos. So the cut autos cross all walks of life, but the, the other hits are, uh, are pretty much our hockey. Okie dokie, artichokies, let's do this. How are we doing on time here? Am I on schedule? Kind of. Yeah, I think I am actually. So yeah, in about, about 45 minutes, I'll be done with the break. I'll have the labels printed out. I would have gone through all the orders, blah, blah, blah. There's Tommy Romero, Speckle to 299. Another one for the Rays. That goes to Chris Garosi. And by then, we'll be ready to start the next break. I see orders coming in, so something must be selling out. How did the brown spot random sell out? It sold out. So it looks like we're going to be doing Flawless 8 right after this. We'll do two, uh, we'll do two spot randoms, and then we'll do the break itself. And then what else are we going to do after that? Maybe the brown spot random and do Pick Your Team 9, which is the last one we can do tonight. And those random teams are still holding at their respective numbers for Bowman Baseball. So, we, But we definitely have time to do that tonight, too, because those flawless breaks are really fast. Did I go through these already? Your local shop is way overpriced on Bowman. Everyone overprices Bowman. Price goes up on Bowman so much. I think if, if we get more Bowman in the future, I think we have a few more cases and then we'll be getting a few more cases, but there'll be some of them that will be. That'll be priced a little bit higher even. It'll be cost us more. Out of 125, Hunter Green. Oh, and that's a good point actually, Rich, with the random teams. Yeah, shops are... Uh, I mean, the prices, the per box, per case price of these are going up constantly in Bowman Baseball. So the value of these are really great. So if you think about the random team break, right, I think this is where Rich is leading, right? If you think about this, is a good argument, Rich. If you think about the random team breaks, they're locked in at that price. We're not changing the price per spot on that. So think about it. It's already locked in on that, ori that original price. Meanwhile, everywhere else in the world, the price keeps going up on, uh, on Bowman Baseball. There you go. Good point, Rich. See, that's a that's a strong argument for the random teams. That's what I like. I, I, I like that kind of argument. There's Ahmed Rosario, purple paper to 250. And since they're half case breaks, ladies and gentlemen, that also helps the price, right? Keeps the price a little bit lower. And, you know, if you if you get randomized like a quote-unquote bad team out of 4-9, there's Leody Tavares. Um, if you get randomized with a bad team, you can always try again in the second half. Try to get randomized a good team. So you're not stuck with a bad team for a full case. 
That's right. <laughs> Rage is like, hey, listen, I'm not your average dummy. I'm way above average. All right, next one for the Nats. We've got Telmito Augustine for Jeffrey Lobota and the Nationals. There you go, Jeff. Nats auto coming your way. Bowman Sterling coming back, folks. Tops is bringing back Bowman Sterling. Maybe later this summer. John seven out of four ninety nine or Velius Martinez to four ninety nine. What are your local restaurant promotions, folks? If a if a team does certain things, I know our wing stops, our our local wing stops will will um, give you discounts if like the Lakers or Clippers win. There's my son Martin to 250. I think Papa John's had a Kings promo. It's like Kings 50, get 50% off a of pizza if the Kings win. So they didn't do a lot of this season. Dodgers have something too. There's a pirate. Arr, yar. Chris Miller with the Pirates. I always love hearing about local promos. Skyline Chili, what do they do, Jason Bell? Reds win, you get something. There's Nick Neidert for the Marlins, 250. Rex was just thinking about it. Just imagine the Rays win the World Series and then they have, and then next year they announce that they'll become the Portland Rays. I don't know. I think the Rays winning the World Series would make give them a good argument to build a new stadium somewhere else. But yeah, I mean, if the city doesn't want to help or if the public doesn't want to help or if the Rays don't want to pay for it themselves, yeah, they might be on the move. Oh, I see. Nine strikeouts. They give away free conies. Two more to go. Six autographs to go, boys and girls. We have a. Uh, I think I think uh, some of you folks in basketball cities may have this too. Um, if like the Lakers hold a team to under a hundred points, you get like you get a free taco at Taco Bell like the next Tuesday or something like that. So at the end of games, you'll hear, you, you'll hear if the Lakers defense had showed up, they'll be like, you can hear the crowd chanting, we want tacos. They're betting the under.
Nice, Jason Bell got tickets for Rockies Reds here in Denver. Reds first trip to Coors in July. What's the weather like in Denver in July? I don't think I have a con concept of what Colorado summer weather is like or Denver summer weather. Is it like a, is it humid? Is it dry? Is it, I ask me, I guess I want to say like in, in the mountains, maybe it's a, maybe it's a dry heat. I, I don't know. Or maybe it is humid. I have no idea. Boombox says what? Free admission to Deja Vu with same day ticket stuff. Is that really a promo up there? What's up, Brian? Brian O in the house. Could be 60s or 80s in Denver. But like, is it? Or it could snow in July? That's crazy talk. Bet those tire companies really try to get you on those all-weather tires then, huh? We've got a Marco Luciano, 45 out of 100 for the Giants. That goes to EA, who got the Giants in a spot ran. There you go, Eric. See? That's a case for the spot ran. <laughs> nice. There go. First autograph of the box. Five more autos to go in the break. Two more here, three more in the other box, the last box. And Tommy Romero for the Rays. That'll be going to Chris Garosi. And so, so our, Jason Bell, are you saying that if I move to Colorado, that I should that I should get into tires? So today, Jason was saying 83, but breezy, not humid. There's Chance Adams, paper to 499. There's Jonathan Hernandez, paper, purple paper to 250. It's just, it's just a hum. I feel like humidity is kind of rough. That's that's something that I, that I struggle with. I complain about cold and stuff like that, but really, weather doesn't really bother me all that much. But humidity kind of does. I was in Houston in the summer a couple of years ago. I was like, "How do you guys live here? With this humidity." I feel like I was I was after I got out of the airport, out of the taxi. I was like, I felt like I was swimming in the air. There's M J Melendez. To 150. It's future Salvador Perez, possibly.
Trying to start that pack over. There we go, camera. Even though it's just paper, but still. Should be one more autograph in this stack. And there it is. It's Darian Cruz. Thomas Bove with the Bravos. That's the third autograph of the box. Now let's see if we have any other low numbered parallels. You know, folks, we have that that printing plate we saw earlier for the Yankees. That was our f second printing plate of all the of all this Bowman stuff that we've opened, but we've not seen a one a super fractor yet. Whether it's a non auto or or let alone an autoed one, but I haven't seen one of those yet. A couple out of fives. No no autos on the fives. So we have pulled a couple fives. Reds, but red out of five, red parallels. But we have not seen a super fractor. Are we due? Superfractor one out of every five thousand nine hundred and sixty nine packs. Man, that's hard. Autograph superfractor one out of every forty three thousand one hundred and thirty nine packs. Brendan Rogers to fifty, and that's hard. <laughs> There's only, what, 12 packs in these. Uh, we have not pulled any Kyle. I don't think I remember any Kyle Tucker rookie autos yet. All right, last box, folks. Good luck. Coming up next will be uh, Flawless Football. A couple spot randoms and then the break itself. Then after that, I'm not sure what we're going to do after that. I'm sure we'll find figure out something to do. Right, so Jeremy S. is like, so you're saying there's a chance. It's true, yeah. JB saying way too many packs in these, but that's half the fun. Half the fun. This is this is the annual Bowman tradition right here. Oh, is it super time right now? In the last box of Pick Your Team number seven, Jumbo Seven. A speckle or a or a super speckle or super. Welcome to America's favorite game, speckle or super.
And there's Will Stewart. Where there's a will, there's a way for Scott and the Phillies. Blue Chrome autograph for the Fightins. That's right, Stephen K. It ain't over till it's over, per the great Yogi. I haven't seen this guy's autograph either. And we got Ryland Bannon, 261 out of 499. Blarg, what do you want to end up doing with the bulk stuff that doesn't get sent out, the, the paper base? Um, that's how I get paid. They pay me in this. JB, you prefer a box of max like 10, 12 cards? You're in luck, JB. We got plenty of that in flawless football. Help us fill those. Yeah, this, this since case breaking started becoming a thing, the Bowman doesn't lend itself as well to these group breaks. But this is still extremely popular with uh, hobby shops all across America. A lot of people still buy boxes of Bowman. They love uh, unboxing everything, building sets out of the paper base and all that sort of stuff. You go to local card shows, the the ones that still exist. You'll still see people sifting through, sifting through monster boxes to fill to fill uh, finish off their paper base sets. People have been collecting Bowman baseball for like decades, literally. You know, so so this is still still very popular. Maybe not popular with some group breakers, but in shops, big big mover in shops all the time. Local people still buy these all the time. So, yeah, I mean, that's the beauty of the hobby, though, JB. Something for everybody. Oh, yeah, you were in the last break. That's right, Chiefs. But that's the beauty. You know, you don't like this, plenty of other things to do. And if you do like this, people can get into it. A lot of variety in the hobby these days, which is fantastic. Something for everybody, ladies and gentlemen. And I think that's one of the cool things about the hobby. There's really there's really no right or wrong way to collect. You want to buy boxes, boxes of Bowman baseball and search for prospects and make paper base sets and whatnot? Yeah. You can do it that way. Hey, you want high-end flawless stuff? We got that too. What's up, AP? What do you mean what other things? What are you talking about? Should be one more autograph to go here, so let's see what we got. Is it here? It is. Brewer Hicklin. Royals. Last autograph of the break. Let's see if there's any other parallels here. It's another Royal for Michael Neck. Nice. Good break for you.
And it was a speckle. Joe Adele at a 299. That goes to the Angels. That would be for David Duffy with the Los Angeles Angels. Arthur, are you playing Buffalo Gold? Buffalo! Burn, yeah. Jason Bell's got you. I don't think we have any spots left in flawless football, but there is there's a spot random that you can try to chase the chase the Browns. All right, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Pick your team. Seven in the books. In a different video will be the recap video. We'll see you for that. Bye bye. Jaspiescasebreaks.com.